What about these tensions between China and the United States? Could that halt the rally potentially? I doubt it. I, I think unless the United States announced some big package where they're stopping imports from uh, China or putting you know, really penal uh, levels of tariffs on, I don't think uh, there's going to be any change. I do think it's more of a tit for tat. These are just two very big countries up against each other and of course the, the uh, political backdrop of this pending election in the United States. So I find this is just noise in the market. And as you're seeing, people are seeing this as a buying opportunity rather than running for the exit. What's also interesting, Gary, is that Mohammed El Orian agrees with you. He said on CNBC just overnight that the biggest risk to the outlook right now would be a wave of corporate bankruptcies, not necessarily rising tensions between the US and China. What's your view on this bankruptcy issue? Do you think this could be something that markets might have to contend with short term? I do. Um, you know, I kind of see the markets go up. You kind of tend to forget about the virus. But the virus is still working, weaving its way through uh, most countries around the world, still causing disruption. And, you know, many companies continue to bleed cash. So unless they're supported by central banks or by private investors and continue to refinance them, many of them will hit the wall. So the longer that this virus and its impact on growth continues, the more companies that would struggle and therefore agreeing with Alarion that that is the Achilles heel of the story for the markets at the moment.